puppy, I'm inappropriate. I like the in space, I like the whole script. You're such a freaky girl. Is this too much poop for YouTube? Yeah. Why? Just why did I do this? Why? Could I be any more unnecessary? Yes, you know that already. Why? 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 Just why? I mean, we just woo saw that right off of there. We can fucking move on with our lives, eh? God damn it. Sorry. What should we talk about? Let's talk about the time I did mushrooms last. Last time I did mushrooms. So, it was a day, just like any other day, except for on this day, I was really struggling with my, you know, dependency or drug addiction or whatever that keeps... I mean, you know, if you've been a drug addict ever or whatever, I mean, like, it's not the... Okay, let's start over. <laughs> okay, on this day, I... On this particular day, I was struggling with some things. And I was trying to get over those things. And I knew in my head that doing certain psychedelics... We can have this talk later. But I'm pro-psychedelic. Pro-psychedelic. I'm not pro-ecstasy that's cut with speed. I'm pro psycho fucking delics as they exist in nature. Okay? Psilocybin, diamethyl tripped me. On this day, I was struggling with some things. And I was trying to get over them. I was trying to get over my negative headspace. Jumpstart to my soul, a little something to snap me out of it. Because it's like walking down a snowy hill. The more that you walk down the same path, the same path, the same path. Well, all of a sudden, that's the only grooves that the sled will go down the hill in, right? Well, when fresh snow falls, when you take psychedelics, when you have a mushroom trip, when you have a DMT trip, all that shit resets your brain. Keep in mind, I don't know who I'm speaking to to in this audience 100%. I would love to get to know all of you and I appreciate every one of you for your opinions, your individual opinions, whatever those may be and however you were raised and whatever your mindset is that works for you. I'm all for that. But if we go by fact, there has never been a death from DMT. There's never been a death from mushrooms. Yes, sometimes stupid people encountering mushrooms, tripping on mushrooms, make stupid decisions every now and then, but no one has ever died from taking mushrooms mushrooms or from taking DMT. So now that we're past that, I was kind of searching for something. I was searching for something. I was searching for something. And then a friend hit me up. It's somebody that I went and had drinks with on multiple occasions. It's just a friend that I've never done anything sexual with or whatever that I've never, you know, just a friend that we vibe on the same fucking level and whatever he does is what he does and whatever I do is what I do. And it's totally completely separate. Go have drinks with you right now and tell you that I'm a fucking unicorn. And you're going to be like, oh word, you're a unicorn. But do you know that I'm a unicorn? I could tell you I'm a hoe, but do you know that I'm a hoe? If, unless you know that I'm a hoe. So you get my drift, right? We're all just people, peace, love, and harmony. Okay, so he happens to hit me up out of the blue and is like, hey girl, I came up on like an ounce of mushrooms. Did you want to go up to, first he said San Francisco, then he changed it to Auburn and, and, and microdose with me and like go on a little hike and like just see some sights. Like I've been feeling depressed lately and I really need to get out of that so like I'm thinking this will like shake it up and I'm like uh, uh like I knew we were sisters but I didn't know we were twins like me too bitch me too and so I was like hell yes I'm down for some microdosing like for sure I've got to be back home by six here's where you can pick me up like I'm cool with that like I'm down with that so I've hung out with him before if y'all is homosexual and you want a new best friend hello I am here for you anyways am I being fucked up I don't think so I get along with men a lot better I don't know about y'all but I don't keep my soul and my pussy. Pretty weird place to keep it. Moving on. I knew that he was my friend and that we have vibed before and nothing bad has ever happened. We probably had went and had drinks. Yeah, I've gotten sloppy drunk with him ten times at the bar. Ten times and nothing's ever happened. So we get it. He asks me for advice often. I talk back to him, whatever. So I'm like, okay, yeah, yippity skippity. I know I've got to be back home by six because I have to leave with my best friend to drive out to 
because she has a job and i know i have to leave at 6 p.m so keep that in mind so and she doesn't like this guy for whatever reason she just doesn't trust him whatever she told me not to hang out with him whatever i don't know he's never done anything to me i've never seen him do anything everything's cool i pack my backpack with a pair of sandals and a pair of shorts and all this like you know like stuff that i would need right and so i'm like best friend i'm going to the river i will be back by six o'clock don't worry i know you're counting on me i know you're depending on me don't worry i'll be here so i meet him in my car because i don't let anybody to my house i don't let anybody know where i live i meet him in my car a couple blocks over and get in his car and we proceed to drive down the freeway we're laughing i take over his ox cord i'm playing music he's stuck in fucking 2001 and i'm clowning him because that's what i do best and like whatever we make it to auburn and he's like yeah thank you for coming with me and this is chill like i just wanted to have a chill time and kind of like reset my brain i've been going through some things and all the other shit i'm like yeah me too i feel it so much like i feel it in my soul like this is everything like thank you for inviting me and we stop and get sandwiches and we stop at this little fucking gift shop and we get dominoes because we're gonna play dominoes right so then we drive to this like way 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 up in the fucking hills right like the furthest point you could go in auburn like my cell phone connection was none and we start um, along the side of the road and he's like hey this is the little forest pathway i was taught about going on a hike on and i'm like okay we're like you know so we get out of the car we start walking so we're walking becoming one with nature and we're like he's like oh no that's not the path because there's like clearly a human path right there's a human driving path there's a human walking path but he's like going around the human walking path and he's like no 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 i know a way i know a way it's a better way i've been down it all the times we start going down it i'm following him and i'm like bro i don't think this is the way i'm becoming clearly winded sweating good thing i had been drinking just a little bit and so he's like okay when it starts to get harder we like sit down for a break and he's like hey want some of these mushrooms though hell yeah i do absolutely i do and so he gives me i'm like i'm just gonna take a couple of them so I take a couple of them, a couple stems and a cap or something like that. And I've taken mushrooms before, so like I have a hold on this, right? So we continue to walk. We're talking, we're bullshitting, blah, 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 blah. And it gets even harder. Like there's trees lying on the pathway. And he just keeps on telling me like, no, I know the way. This is the way. It's so beautiful when you get there. He's got his camera. He's taking pictures of me. I still have a bottle. I'm still drinking it. Eventually I find a snake. And it's the most beautiful snake I've ever seen in my life. And it was like a little baby. But mind you, I'm on mushrooms and alcohol. And like never in my life would I pick up a snake. No, no, I don't like snakes. I fucking hate snakes. I fucking hate reptiles. I'm sorry if you're a reptile lover. I fucking hate reptiles. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But for some reason on mushrooms, this snake was my snake. And I picked that bitch up and I was talking to it for a while. And he took pictures of that. And I don't know why he didn't send them to me. But anyways, eventually it gets harder and harder and harder. And I'm like, bro, this isn't a, a path. And I know that you keep telling me that it is. And that it's so much more beautiful down this way but i'm fucking out bro because this is too fucking hard obviously they don't want us to go down here this is a fucking forest and i know there's a path right there so he's like oh no okay like i'll, I'll find our way back I, I must have missed the turn or something i'm gonna and so we get separated somehow because i sit down for a second he fucking keeps walking and i don't hear him because in a forest it's a kind of silent that's super fucking silent to where also tra sound travels up so if he's going lower because he's trying to find the path, I'm not going to hear him. He can hear me. No, no, wait, opposite. He's not going to hear me. I can hear him, but I don't, okay, so I go, I'm like, whatever. So like, we get lost somehow. I just got fucked up in all my words. But somehow we get lost, okay, from each other. Because I'm like, I walked up to the other path, and I'm like, here, we could just walk on this. This is obviously a man-made path. It obviously goes down to the bottom. And by the time I get done saying that sentence, he's gone. I don't know where the fuck he went. I can't hear him. I can't see him. I'm not walking. Taking the chance of walking down the path like he did and getting fucking lost and fucked up. So I'm like, okay, no matter what, if I continue to walk down this human-made path, I will be all right. I will find my way. I'm looking for context clues. Sun rises in the east, sets in the west west water flows whatever way i remember then and sound goes whatever way and the fucking signs of humans all this stuff played a huge part my drunk ass is walking a little bit mushed out and i'm like oh that's the river you were talking about i see it we passed this oh there's fucking a couple water bottles and some trash 
trash. That means there's humans' clothes. Oh, there's some fucking footprints in a car that I'm getting closer. So I just keep walking, walking, walking. I swear to God, I didn't feel like we went an hour and a half in, but it took an hour and a half to get out. Finally, I hear him. He's like, Nikki. And I keep saying, okay, don't, don't fucking laugh at me, all right? Don't fucking laugh. He has a name. I just never remembered what it was because I don't remember names well. You know this if you know me. I make up names for people usually. So because I could never remember his name every time I saw him before when we had drinks, he told me to call him Poppy. In my head, I'm like, not Poppy like he's my Poppy or like he's a Poppy to somebody else, but like that's your name. Like it's just letters. It's P-A-P. P-I, okay? Don't fucking talk shit, all right? So then he's like yelling, Nikki, and I'm like, Poppy, and then he's like, Nikki, and I'm like, Poppy, and then eventually I run down and I find him because like at this point like oh i was almost out and i had sat down on a log so i'm like where the fuck were you what's up bro thought you were dead thought you were gone thought you left me thought i was fucked my phone died i don't know what to do it doesn't work out here anyways and like i'm exhausted kind of drunk fucked up whatever we start yelling at each other for a little while we get in a miniature fight eventually everything turns out fine and he's like hey do you want to go home now do you want me to take you home i know you had to go and in my mind i'm like nothing matters but this moment this this was a life lesson to teach me strength and I'm going to come out of my dire depression and I'm going to be so much better because of this. This is a pivotal moment. I need to continue this. And so, though it was 5 o'clock, and although when we started driving again and I got a little bit of signal, my friend fucking called me and I was like, don't worry about it, bitch. It's only 5. You told me to be there by 6. I'm fucking coming. I said, yeah, let's go to the river. Let's take some more mushrooms. So we go to the river, we walk down a fucking really jagged path. Mind you, at this moment, I'm still cognitive. I can still see everything. I'm like, yeah, there's nothing weird about this. I'm parking on the side of the road, there's other people out here. I'm walking down the hill, sitting by the river. It's chill, it's whatever, it's beautiful, it's great. And then he pulls out the bag of mushrooms and he's like, hey, are you mushed or do you want some, some more? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I'm not really much. I mean, like, I kind of felt it, but like... I could use a little bit more. I, I could I could take some more and be fine. Like, that would be chill. I'm really enjoying my time just for, like, the life lessons I've learned by myself. Uh, thanks for taking me. So, um, he starts giving me mushrooms, and I'm like, you know what? Matter of fact, like, uh, let's have the bag. In retrospect, that wasn't the brightest decision. In retrospect, that was a fucking terrible decision. Because I eat half the bag. Half the bag, bitch. Half of the fucking, half of the bag. I ate half of the bag of an ounce of mushrooms. <laughs> I ate them. I was chewing them. I was swallowing them at one point because they're so fucking heinous. I'm just like chilling. Like everything's fine. Meanwhile, in the forest, when I took two mushrooms, he took a handful of mushrooms. Then when I ate half the bag, he ate the other half the bag. So I'm telling you, he ate way fucking more than me. And I'm expecting this man because he weighs more and is taller and is a little bit, a little tiny bit older. And these are his fucking mushrooms and this is his car and he drove to drove drive this out here. I'm fucking feeling like safe with this person that I really don't even fucking know their name. So we're sitting by the river, sitting by the river, sitting by the river. It gets cold. He brings me a sweater. He tells me it's his son's sweater. It is a true religion sweater. Keep that in mind. I continue to sit by the river and I'm just like, thank you so much. I start tripping fucking balls, bro. It starts looking like we are on the edge of the earth. Like this is like, you know, those like 2D dioramas. That's what it started looking like. Like, and I'm like, just like nothing matters. Like I was picturing myself like, fuck it. I could just like lob myself in the river and roll the fuck off. And it wouldn't even fucking matter because life is fucking all these crazy fucking things to where they weren't bad they were great all these fucking crazy nuts things right and it starts getting darker and darker and we're just like this is so beautiful this is great and the tide starts rising because it's, it's getting darker and people start leaving we start seeing headlights everybody's leaving so i'm like bro this is when that whole sinking feeling starts to Meanwhile, I've been drinking the whole time too, okay? This is when that whole sinking feeling starts to set in and you almost hear music playing going da da and it's just like, what the fuck? Where? Hey, psst, hey, 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 it's fucking dark outside. Don't you see, we're gonna, the tide is right here now. 
We're going to both drown if we stay mushed out like this. Like, this is wonderful and everything. I'm fucking freezing. It's time to go. Do we have a car? Like, it, it exists. Uh, I'm looking behind us. It, I remember walking down a hill very vaguely, but I look behind us and there's no fucking hill anymore. I'm po it's just not, th there's no car back there. I don't know how we're going home. The world changed and we can't get home anymore. And I don't know the way. Furthermore, I can't fucking walk. And I really am gonna need you, motherfucker, to pull this together so we can get out of this shit before we go to jail. I'm not trying to be your co-defendant. I don't want to be in the drunk tank with you. I have to be some life. And so he's like, don't worry about it. Chill out. I got us. He starts walking me up the hill. And I'm just like, I stop every five feet and I'm just like still looking over this hill like, no. No, for sure no. For sure no. There's nothing there. Literally nothing. There's nothing there. There's no roads, no cars, no people. That That's the great beyond. I don't even know what you're talking about or where you're taking me, but fucking fine, I'll go. And so we make it up the hill. Sure enough, there was a car there. I guess we came in, but it all looked foreign to me. So I proceed to be like, unlock it. Unlock the fucking door. I get in the car. He gets in the car. He rolls the windows down. And I'm like, bro, it's cold. I'm still looking at the outside of the river down, like right here. And I'm like, I'm going to die today. Today's the day I'm going to die. And once you start thinking that thought on a whole lot of mushrooms, it's really hard to go back. So then I'm like, okay, bro, like I need to go home now. Like this is chill and everything, but I'm tripping balls and I'm supposed to be someplace. So we need to go. And and he's like, starts laughing, and I'm like, oh, fuck, are you mushed now? And he's like, I took so many more mushrooms than you, and he's laughing his ass off. He's now got the windows rolled down, the cooler all the way on. And I'm like, bro, this is not funny. We're going to go to jail. I keep seeing headlights behind me, and like, I'm tripping fucking balls, nothing's real. And I'm like, I definitely cannot drive this car right now. He's like, I can't drive this car either. I can't fucking do it either. And I'm like, yeah, no, for for sure don't fucking drive the car like looking back i was a big weenie about it and like i made the situation so much worse than it had to be so then i start tripping out and i'm like okay so there's only one person that can save us and that's my dad and so i proceed to call my father and he answers and he's like where in the fuck are you? And I'm like, um, so funny story, huh? I'm at the river. Uh, with who? Um, his, his name is Poppy, and I took a whole lot of mushrooms, Dad, and I'm fucking, like, uh, freaking out, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die or go to jail, and this is not good. By this time, the dude's out of the car. I hear cars honking at him. I'm like, yeah, and this dude's fucking out of his mind. I can't even see anything. I'm glad I was able to to find your contact because my depth perception is but but everything won't stop changing colors and it would be cool if i wasn't here dad and so what the fuck do i do and he's like no your best friend called me and she's fucking pissed and that just added to it and he's like so i don't know what to tell you you need to send her the address so she can come get you or something and try not to go to fucking jail and just like chill out it's just mushroom and so i'm like okay dad word thanks a lot for your help and i then get off the phone with him then i start Start going through my phone and looking at the map and texting my best friend and I'm like hey okay so funny story right um, I need you to come get me from Auburn um, I'm gonna send you a screenshot of me on the map I need you to decipher where the fuck that is because I have no idea about how to look up where I'm at to tell you um, and I need you right now and so she calls me and she starts asking me questions and she's like who the fuck are you with you were supposed to be here at six. Who the fuck are you with? Who the fuck are you with? And then I'm just like, I don't know. I start laughing because like, yeah, I'm on mushrooms, hello. And and it was a dick move. And so she, I'm like, I am i don't know his name. I don't know his name. And she's like, what the fuck do you mean? You don't know his name. What are you talking about? Why would you go with somebody you don't know his name? And I'm just like, oh, his name's Poppy. And that's when she hung up on me. <laughs> So now I'm like, we're definitely fucked. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, we're probably gonna die or go to jail. This made him freak out when I said that out loud. Then he's like, I don't want to go to jail. 
I'm not going to fucking jail. Then he starts the car and I'm like, please don't drive the car. He then puts the car in drive. I'm like, please don't drive the car. He then pushes his foot on the gas pedal. And I'm like, please don't drive the car. I know I can't see. I can't drive. I don't even know how to fucking work the phone anymore. You definitely can't drive. That's over. And he started driving and it's around these hills, like almost like a, when you're driving through Reno, only you're in Auburn, whatever. Um, and so there's super like steep, super um, sharp turns, everything. So he's going around like we're playing fucking Mario Kart, like 100 miles an hour. Five speed, by the way. I can't slow down. I can't stop. And I'm like, stop the car. Stop the car. I saw my own death in front of my eyes. Okay. So I'm like, there's a turn off right there stop the car it's dark let me paint this picture for you it's fucking dark there's no street lights there's no fucking cell phone service you're fucked okay so somehow while he's doing this i'm like there's a turn off oh yeah i forgot to tell you when we were sitting there after i got off the phone with my dad i had ordered an uber i had somehow managed to dig through my fucking purse and find a card that had money on it that i could order an uber and it said 20 minutes and i was like 20 minutes we're for sure dead we're for sure dead I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. And so that's why I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna die. Or we're gonna go to jail. And then he took off in the car. Okay, so then I'm like, well, while he's going, meh, 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 and we're going around the turns, um, I'm like, there's a turn off right there. Just stop the car. You're not killing me in the car. This is fucking terrible. You can't fucking drive. We're all gonna die. Like, and I'm like, pull off in the thing. And he's like, what? And I so I grab, this is not my proudest moment. I grab the gear shifter and I throw that bitch in park. And so he then is like, oh my god, you stupid ass fucking bitch. And I literally open the door at 15, 10, 15 miles an hour. And I roll the fuck out of the car. Yes, I do. And so he barely even stops. And then he like looks out the window and he's like, I gotta fucking go. I'm not going to fucking jail. You want it out of the car? There, go ahead. Luckily, I had grabbed my purse, okay? So then there I am in the dark. In the fucking dark. There's not cars going by. This is too fucking rural. Um, except and then um, I start calling my best friend and I'm like, please come pick me up. And I'm literally screaming, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die if you leave me out here. And she's like, no, bitch. You were supposed to be here by six o'clock. You can go fuck yourself. And she hangs up on me. Plus, I had no way of explaining where I even was. I look at my phone. The Uber is still 10 minutes away. And my phone is on 1%. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm in the pitch black. So I'm using my flash. Flashlight. So then the phone fucking dies, and I'm like, what? 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 And Jesus, it just happened to me. Now I'm for sure done. And so I'm like, you know, just imagining my fucking dead body being found on the side of the road, all these horrible things. And all of a sudden, I hear a car going off as I'm crying on the ground, dirty as fuck, right? So I start walking up to this car that was parked on the side. And I'm like, he like pulls onto the side of me. He's got his window down. It's an Asian man, like 20 something years old. I'm like, please, please help me sir please help me i fucking tripping balls and he pulls off bro like i was like the most scariest thing he's ever fucking seen in his life and so i'm like okay i start to accept it all right i'm gonna die out here this is where i'm gonna die that's okay i love you dad Shit. I see the car pull back up with the Asian guy. It's like a little Subaru. And he goes, hey, totally just like a, one of them, like, you know, hippie kids that lives up there. Uh, are you all right? And I'm like, no, no, I'm not all right. I'm not all right. I'm so far from all right. Please, can you help me? I'm not going to hurt you. I know I look scary. <laughs> this is not my sweater. It's got dirt on it. I just jumped out of the car. I'll give you $150 cash. You take it. I've got it right here. You can take it if you just drive me back to my house in Sacramento. Please. And then he's like, okay, just like, you don't have any weapons on you or anything, right? Like, you're not trying to rob me, right? And I'm like, no, not at all. I'm just sitting up. I'm tripping on mushrooms. I ate way too many mushrooms. He's like, okay, get in. So then I'm like, I start crying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're an angel. You're an angel. Thank you. God bless you. I fucking, we'll be friends. We can add each other on Facebook. Like, I'm going to give you a shout out. I still don't remember his name or anything. I don't, I never give him the phone or whatever. 
whatever. So he drives me back to Sacramento and all of a sudden this trip starts wearing off a lot. And by this time it's like 9 o'clock at night. I had lost my car keys. I had lost my house keys. I had lost my Chuck Taylors. That's when you know it's bad. I had lost my backpack. Everything. Everything. And I, he ends up driving back. We get off the exit to go to my house and he's super chill. 